Um, hi, my name is Gabriela Uvarez. I am with Working Classroom um, and the CEDOS Artist Collective. Um, thank you again. <laughs> I'll just call you short. <laughs> he, he has experience. Um, <laughs> So um, some of you may already be familiar with Working Classroom. We're about a 26-year-old art and theater nonprofit that was located downtown um, at Second and Gold for about 18 years. Before that, we were in the South Broadway neighborhood. Um, and now we're in the Borellis community. We've been there for about two years. Um, and I'm also part of an artist collective called Vecinos, which is a core of seven artists, um, most all of whom are from Albuquerque. Um, and so. In my talk and in my role as working classroom, people are always wanting me to talk about youth and youth and art and youth opinions. Um, I think it's appropriate that I think three out of seven of our members in Vecinos are working classroom alum. Um, and the rest are associated with working classroom in one way or another. They came as interns um, or as instructors at the program. Um, so I want to talk about who working classroom students grow up to be, the artists they become. Um, so that top picture is of our collective, um, Alex, Whitney, Michael, Paul, George, and Ian. Um, and that bottom picture is of a group of students at working classroom, probably in the mid-90s when I first started going there, um, and a mosaic they created. So I grew up with a really close relationship with downtown. Um, Working Classroom is all about diversity and giving students experiences that they would not have otherwise in the arts and in theater. Um, and I think downtown and even Borellas with how close it is downtown gives students from all over the city a very culturally rich experience. And not only in the sense that our students, um, you know, do everything from visit mosques to go to the Chinese Cultural Center, but downtown, I think, prepares you to live in the world. And so growing up, I was comfortable and became comfortable um, interacting and talking to and becoming aware of different conditions in life. So, you know, downtown, there's a large transient population. There's a lot of homelessness because of the resources around downtown. Um, and also because of the transportation center downtown. Um, but there's also Gold Street Cafe. So I grew up in a place where I could meld between worlds. Totally comfortable with all classes, backgrounds, types of people. Um, this next slide, and you can read the quote, but it's something that one of our collaborators and co-founders, Ian, who's only a, a I believe, junior at UNM in the art department, um, posted on Facebook one day. And I thought it was really appropriate because all of, all of our members in the collective, um, and I think all of the students at Working Classroom and staff at Working Classroom really believe in Albuquerque. And we love our city and we want to be here. But we also recognize that there's room to grow. And um, part of that is deciding to make it grow with very little resources and with just some energy and grassroots um, efforts. So this photo is from a project we did, I believe, uh, just over a year ago um, in the Borellis neighborhood um, where we partnered with Hakeem and so also willing partners. Hakeem dedicated so much time um, and Michael to jump into a classroom at Dolores Gonzalez Elementary. And Candelario Vasquez, who works at Encuentro. Yeah, I can't forget him. And they work together to write poetry about the 12 Days of Christmas based on uh, Barela's cultural traditions, um, you know, bizcochitos, what else, Hakeem? Tamales. Tamales, yeah. tongues of burning because of hot chicken this time. And from that, we decorated the Fourth Street Corridor for the holidays. So our artists came out, painted the windows in the freezing cold, um, and then all of us also used our network to create a radio show um, that was uh, aired on Christmas Eve. And so we really had the opportunity to give the students a voice. And I think the reason I care so much about giving young people a voice is because I was a young person who was given a voice through my years at working classroom. 
Um, this next slide is actually my favorite slide out of all the slides because this is a photo of working classroom students and two Vecinos Artist Collective members working together um, in a workshop setting uh, this past summer. And the quote, how can change be manifested if it can't first be imagined? And who would ever assume that imaginations run, run along straight lines? I think this idea is so important for growing our creative core. I think we need to give artists support, but we also need to give them space to experiment. Um, you know, sometimes ideas fail, I think as long as they're not hurting anyone or taking advantage of anyone, that's okay because that's how you find the next answer or even the next question that can lead you where you're going. And I think that sense of experimentation is something that was really instilled in me and my brother and every other student has gone through working classroom, whether they grow up to be an artist or end up in, uh, majoring in engineering. Um, so this one, I, I, Sherry, Sherry Brueggemann sent us an email said, okay, if you need more cash, you know, what are you gonna do with it? Cash is good. Cash is really good when you're asking an artist to do something that they might not otherwise do. I think that we need to value artists when we're using them and their creative capital, but if you don't wanna give us money, give us freedom. And this photo is a project that was led by uh, Jorge de la Torre, who was a working classroom uh, art instructor and staff member for six years, and he's now going to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. He flew back to create this work with the help of the collective for High Desert Test Sites, a national traveling uh, exhibition. And we brought people here, amazing artists, to Los Lunas to see this work um, that George was just creating out of trash. And our collective came behind him and created this work. It was totally illegal. We should have probably not been on this property. But having that space to really <laughs> make something and make it freely, and again, we weren't hurting anyone. We were actually making something beautiful out of trash, um, was a great space to be in. Um, and, you know, I think as an artist collective, too, we really want to participate in the contemporary art world and the global art world. And so we're trying to make an effort to bring more people and more eyes on Albuquerque and on New Mexico. And the great thing about this project that we're so proud of is um, it's now part of the curriculum um, in an undergraduate class at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, the artist Andrea Zetel came and saw the show and talked to us and was really excited about the work. And who would have thought George was just doing this in his free time? <laughs> um, and the last thing, and I think that everyone in the Vecinos Collective believes in this, and it's something I think that maybe we grew up with, um, definitely all of us who grew up at Working Classroom learned to really, really care. Um, art has power to open people's eyes to issues they may not know about or that they may already have an opinion about. Um, this is from our Day of the Dead show. And we, we take on tough subjects like immigration, deaths along the border, um, and we humanize them. And we teach our students that as artists, we can give voice to voiceless, we can give voices to ourselves. Um, and I think tonight is a good example. None of, I don't think I see of any, anyone from working classroom right now, they're all at the NOSH vigil, um, showing solidarity for you know, these acts of hate that keep happening in our city and shouldn't keep happening. And so teaching our students that at a really young age um, grows them into artists who continue to care and who continue to want to make artwork because they love art and because they love their community. So I hope everyone in the city could continue to push the power of art and the importance of art and to help grow young artists. So thank you.